Welcome back to Latin Nation. And joining us now is radio personality from Los Angeles, Crystal B. She's on Big Boy's Neighborhood on Power 106. Hey, Crystal. Welcome to the show, Crystal. Hi, how are you? I got to ask you, because you're on Big Boy's uh, Neighborhood. Right. And the, the, you, when, when it comes to hip-hop, you got to deal with big personalities, mm -hmm. especially the guys. Right. So, I mean, as, mm -hmm. as, a, as a young female, how do you handle that? I mean, early on, hip-hop seemed like it was a very testosterone-fueled art form. These days, it's different, though. These right. days, you, most of the hip-hop stars, you know, are, are, you know, from both genders. So, any thoughts on that? Um, it's funny. Big Boy will make fun of us. And in the morning, we're there super early, so I definitely do not look like this, <laughs> so I'm not all done up, but I mean, they make fun of us and we joke around on air and stuff, but being a female in the studio, it's a different perspective and obviously the guys are more like macho about the whole industry. And then us girls, like, well, I always want to ask like the dating, the, obviously like in hip hop, there's girls around you constantly. I want to know like what's going on with the girls? What is, what is the hip hop side of the females and how are the females involved with you? It's, we, I mean, we have fun with it. Well, what, 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 what did you see? I mean, what, what's some of the progress that you've seen? Because I think early in the day, it was, you know, the women in hip-hop were groupies or, or, or video vixens, right. uh, to, for lack of a better term. But now you have Missy Elliott. You know, now you have, you know, Queen Latifah. Oh, Queen Latifah's been around. I shouldn't say now. Those that yeah. you just mentioned aren't soft. They didn't right. come in like, yo, I'm pretty, I'm beautiful. Right. They came in lyrically. So that's why they got the respect in the early days. Like MC Light. You right. hear her voice? as big as Melly Mel's in a sense, you know? Right. So it's just, they came in a little harder. Now the sound is a lot softer, so the girls slide in there, you know? Like, what's her name now, Nicki Minaj? Right. Nicki Minaj. Well, Nicki Minaj, yeah. you know, so. she's very feminine and sexual, but I wouldn't call her soft, Yeah. right? right. No, right. she definitely has an intensity about her, and I mean, I don't know if all of her music is for me, but I definitely find myself singing Nicki Minaj songs <laughs> in the shower. Yeah. But uh, I do appreciate her her intense, kind of strong quality that she has. She's not, you know, she, she plays around with things. Right. And she plays around with her music and her attitude and her image. And it's something that I don't, you don't see as often in that genre. And she can be girly and she collaborate with the guys and be kind of masculine at the same time. Like, right. she doesn't let the guys push her around. And no. she's on a crew with all men. Like, she's yeah, exactly. <laughs> so she's on a crew with all men, and she's representing for the ladies. And she could be, like, sometimes you'll see her dressed in, like, more girly. Sometimes she's doing that, you know, right. that more, like, edgier sound. Well, you know, I want to ask you, because you're, you're young, and right. you're also on the radio. Um, I, I think that hip-hop, one of the things that it did from the beginning, even though it was from the streets, is that it was very tech-savvy. And it's very, like, you know, they, they were one of the first, you know, hip-hop uh, artists were the first to start exploiting MySpace and, and right. stuff like that. Have you noticed that, just being on the media end of things? Well, we're always heavy, like, on the Twitter. <laughs> now it's Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, MySpace is dead, but... As far as being on the radio, we're constantly on Twitter, always have my phone on me. And now it's like, with hip hop, there's so much, I mean, with hip hop, you have like hip hop beef. Now there's like Twitter beef right. and like people arguing via social media now. So it's just on another level, but I mean, it's a change of the times, you know, sign of the times. Well, what, what are some of the things that, that have impressed you about, about maybe hip hop expression and, and, and its uh, confidence, I should say? Well, one of my favorite artists ever is Lauryn Hill. And I grew up listening to her in the Fugees, obviously. I actually listened to a lot of R&B in the 90s, not so much anymore. And I'm not quite sure why that is. Maybe it's like I have a little nostalgia about the 90s. But um, I really loved when Lauryn Hill, you know, went solo. And Miss Education has been one of my favorite albums of all time. And it's just, it's, it's really beautiful to me. And I, like, I love that kind of hip-hop music. I, that's the stuff yeah, that know, I really connect I always to. like to, like, find something new to show someone, especially when they say, well, I don't know about that or I'm not into it. But it seems like you know a lot about hip-hop. Exactly. You completely misled me. <laughs> You're practically an expert. And, uh, she did her why, that's, Yeah, that's why I think you're awesome. We'll All right, we're going to take a break on Latin Nation when we come back. More with Henji Garcia and Crystal B from Power 106. Shout out, my network for that.